Hello, welcome to Screencast 12 of the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland Introduction to Vectorworks. In this uh, screencast, I'm going to be looking at two tools, the um, this one here, Connect Combine Tool, and then the Split Tool as well. Split Tool here. So these two little icons. So in the first one, I'm going to draw a couple of lines just to demo the tool. And while I'm here, because we haven't done anything with lines yet, I'm just going to give these lines a different color. So the pen, not the fill, the pen color here is our uh, is, is the tool we're looking for. So we can give this one a blue fill. So maybe not that obvious just now. Blue, uh, red, we'll just go for bold colors. And that one can be uh, green. And what we'll do is we'll do a different thicknesses as well. So the the thickness here, um, these numbers from zero, um, we'll just choose as a 0.5. That one can be much thicker, one. And that one can be the thickest it goes to just now. I mean, of course, you can go um, beyond that. I think you can set the thickness and actually type in the value if it's above um, the numbers which are there. So you can see two is the biggest number it's got, but I could make that anything I like. Sometimes useful for um, doing things like masking on stage where you want them to stand out a little bit um, more bold from the other lines of the drawing. So worth noting that the pen and the thickness um, are controlled here. So the uh, modes within the uh, combined tool, we're going to look at single object connect mode, dual ob object connect mode, uh, multiple object connect mode and we're going to miss out we're going to um, ignore the um, the walls kind of the building um, tools here so we're just looking at these ones here so the first one uh, and before I go on I just say that these tools are fairly underused by people drawing there are uh, like lots of things in big powerful programs like Vectorworks many different ways of doing things um, this is a fast and efficient way of doing uh, the tasks I'm about to show you are the exercises. Um, there are other ways, but this, uh, if you can just take your time to go through these, don't skip over them. Like all the screencasts, don't skip over them um, and then bodge your way around it later. If you can get good practice just now, it will help in the long run. Anyway, back to the first tool. So if I click on this blue line and then the line I want to connect it to, it will connect across and that's you now. Um, completed the line to the bounding edge there. If I command and Z and go back, I could of course go to the select tool, the non-interactive scaling, grab the blue line, take it over and join it on. It's a tiny bit uh, slower, um, but just to let you know that there is a tool which allows you to do that rather than you needing to grab the blue handle and drag it. The next one along is the dual object connect so this will take the line and connect and make a an angle essentially trim off the bit you don't want and if you note i'll do that again slowly if you know i connected the red line to the black line and i clicked on this like this side of the right angle if you like so that would be straight over and that would be the right angle there just command z if i click on the lower part it will go in the direction I've hinted at, if you like, if that makes sense. The third option here will do essentially the same thing, but turn the shape into a polygon. Um, so the last one, again, I'm just going back again. The last one was, if I go up to my select tool, is to line and line, you can see the word line here and line in the object info palette. Um, if I go to the go back again, choose the connect combine, the this one here, um, and do click click. When I select that, it's a polygon. If I wanted to close it, I'll just click the closed um, checkbox here and that closes the polygon. So that's our way to make polygons. And the 
<coughs> excuse me and the third one um i'm sorry fourth mode here along i'll do another couple of lines first uh, to there we go there's another couple of lines and i'll extend this line out for demo purposes so the, the last option here um, works in slightly reverse first select boundary object it says so if you take your time to read along the top of the screen before you go charging in select the boundary object and then you cl click the lines that you want to extend to meet that boundary so that is by far and away a more efficient um, tool than if you were trying to use the select tool and take blue handles and drag them over and um, line them up with something. This could be the edge of the stage, it could be a piece of masking, it could be a, a wall um, in the rehearsal room. So being able to continue the line to the bounding edge is a very powerful tool. Okay, the next tool I want to show you is the split tool. So I'm going to draw um, three rectangles. Uh, you'll notice that they, um, they still have the green bounding uh, line color from the last time I used the tool so uh, I'll just leave it but I'll make these into I'll give these a slightly um, pastel fill so they're a little bit easier to see um, I'll give them different ones as well for no other reason than it makes it um, a slight variety there we go doesn't matter don't judge me on the colors please so the split tool the first mode will choose the again seems logical to go from the top we'll choose the uh, points tool point split mode click at uh, split at specific points so what it's asking me is to define two points on the rectangle um, to split the rectangle so if I kind of go across I move my mouse I've split the rectangle on the points that I defined on the edges the second tool here again we'll choose the second rectangle first and then this one is asking me to do, draw a cutting line to split the object so rather than choosing points I can draw a line through just like the scalpel icon and that sliced the rectangle into the two parts that uh, that were defined by the the line that I draw through the rectangle <coughs> excuse me in the third option again select the rectangle first uh, split tool. This one here will essentially do the same as the uh, the previous tool, but it will trim off the bit I uh, I don't want. So what will happen is I'll draw a line through, and then it'll give me before before it it before it splits, it will give me a little um, arrow to ask me which side of the object I want to keep. So I'll just demo that, and I'll try and do it. I'm not sure how obvious it is on the on the uh, screencast so I'll just draw through there and it's in a click the second time I don't know if you can see just above the little uh, finger pointer there there's a little arrow which is flipping left and right depending on which way I move my mouse and it's asking me which bit do I want to keep so if I want to keep this part I'll click there and it's trimmed off the other side so it's kind of a split and trim mode so they are really useful again making complex objects um, uh, you might draw an object and then split it in some way in order to make a new object or it might be a case of tidying up like I was saying if you were drawing a so I'll just use that to fit to page if you are uh, tidying up a drawing and you had some uh, uh, a floor plan and uh, you wanted to trim off one corner of it because there was a an angled uh, something rather than having to draw around that draw the rectangle and trim off the corner anyway play with those tools they are more powerful um, than uh, making these objects um, in uh, alternative ways of, co of course everything here could be done in different ways um, but this these are specialist tools to uh, make our life easier and getting to know them in a basic sense right now is uh, will help you later on okay see you in the next screencast thanks